a pair of National League East teams. It'll be the Florida Marlins and the Philadelphia Phillies. Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. We are live Thursday Night Baseball on 2K Sports with John Krug and Steve Phillips. I'm Gary Thorne. A game changer, Ryan Howard. He brings that big bat to our game. Citizens Bank Park. This is the home of the Phillies. Our starting pitcher for Philadelphia. Steve, getting ready for this ball game. What do you think he's prepared to do against this Florida team? Now this right-hander brings outstanding stuff to the mound every time he takes the ball against a lineup that can be somewhat of a challenge at times for pitchers, but if he's on top of his game, he should be able to shut them down. Now this is a look at the offensive arrangement for Edwin Rodriguez's ball club. Now some kind of offense right here, star-studded lineup, and really great length and depth with guys that really can put the ball in play. And Bell's in the box. Now Phillies won their last game, and it's split right now at 1-1, the last of three in this series against the Marlins. Ball one. On the way, and a ball to get us underway. So going back to that last victory, a home win, 10 innings. Good way to end it. Well, fitting way to end that game, yes, but it did take the extra innings, but they will take it. Now the 1-0 pitch. Fastball waved at, missed, 101. Credit the catcher on that one. That's a good low target setting up, and he hit the target. Good execution. The 1-1 one, one pitch. Good pitch that time that got him to chase, 1-2. and two. And this is bounced foul to the left side. Ball. Change up tough to lay off, and it's two and two. Taps Ball. this one foul off to the left. Well, he's doing everything he can to stay alive on this 2-2 count. A nice defensive swing. Make sure he just got enough of the bat on it. Hits it foul. Now let's see where it goes from here. Here's the payoff pitch. That's one away. I will take a quick look at how Philadelphia lines up on the diamond defensively. John, uh, who's a factor for them? Well, Jimmy Rollins has been doing it for a long time at the shortstop position, and he doesn't seem to be slowing down any time at all. Still possesses one of the strongest throwing arms and one of the most accurate throwing arms for any infielder in baseball. First pitch on the way to Rollins. Swing and a miss, and he's behind that pitch. 0-1. Over his career, going 291 off Florida. Here's the delivery. And it's 0-2. Jimmy Rollins swinging at anything close here. Well, that's some kind of pitch, and you set up the target on the outside corner, and he paints the black with it. Awfully tough when you have that kind of location. There is a swing and a liner. And Wells gloves that one. Here's the lineup for the Phillies. Now, John, anyone in particular we should keep an eye on? Well, a guy that when he's hot, he can carry a team on his shoulders, and that's Ryan Howard. He can hit the ball to all fields. If he can figure out a way to cut back on his strikeouts and make more solid contact, this guy could be an MVP candidate every single year.
Runner on first, two away. He sends this one in the air towards center. And there's the third out. No runs on a hit, and they'll strand it. Both teams still looking for that first run here in Philadelphia. Five, six, seven hitters to get things started. Right fielder up. He's going to start the second for the home team. Here's the pitch. Line drive fouled oh. off towards first. He deals. Strike Swing and a miss, and he's behind on the count 0 and 2. Look for the pitcher to try to expand the strike zone here. The hitter has to swing at anything close. And that one gets popped way up behind the plate. One away. These are the pitching staffs who have sent batters back the most often. We look at our State Farm leaderboard. Number one, the Braves. Second, the Padres. Third, the Pirates. Fourth, the Marlins. And at number five on the list, the Mets. Well, these staffs can really throw the heat. They can get the swings in. Two down. Runners at first and second. Here's the pitch. There's a strike at the knees on one. I think the hitter was looking for something out over the plate that he could drive. They pounded a fastball down and in for a strike. Here it comes. Hot shot towards the hole. What a great opportunity here for the Phillies. Nice piece of hitting right there. He manages to drive that high 0-1 pitch for a base hit. Good patience, good pitch recognition. It sure looked like the hitter decided he wasn't going to get behind 0-2. He was going to wail it. Oh, he was aggressive, no question about it. Got a pitch he could handle and took advantage. Two outs, base is loaded. First pitch on the way to Rollins. Fastball just misses, 1-0. One oh now. Here's a swing and a ground ball. And he'll step on first to retire the side. They pick up three hits in the inning. They leave the sacks full. Still no runs across here in Philadelphia. And if you just joined us, our broadcast of Major League Baseball on 2K Sports with John Cruck and Steve Phillips, I'm Gary Thorne. A base hit his last time up. Schmidt's the runner at first. Howard's the runner at second. And the first pitch. Fastball swung out of miss. Stolen one. He just rears back and throws this one with a little something extra on it. No chance of putting it in play. He delivers. Oh, and he lays off the fastball. Good pitch. One and one. Well, that pitch right there just seemed to get away from the pitcher, took off on him. Looked like he tried to overthrow that a little bit. On the ground to second. And they'll record the out at first base. Good timing on that play. Well, he might not have been able to get him out at the plate, but a short run over to first, and he still retires his man. No runs on a couple of hits and two left on. Still unable to score. Philadelphia still zero. It's going to be Johnson now. Grounded out his last time up. Right now he's contemplating his next move out there. He's got a tie ball game, but a big chance to score here. Well, this is a pivotal moment in this game, and the manager needs to pay a visit to the mound to make sure the club's all on the same page. They cannot afford a defensive miscommunication here. Oh. 
Pazes, and now the 1-0. Fastball just misses, and he falls behind 2-0. Now, Gary's done a nice job working around the four hits he's given up here into the fourth, and that's about making pitches, and he's done an effective job when he's had to pitch out of the stretch. This one hit, foul, off to the left side. Here's the 2-1. And this is inside, and that hit him hard. Well, with the bases loaded, you have to throw strikes. You have to make them earn it. Now he hits a batter and gives him a run. And the number seven batter in the box. And he's got a shot with the bases loaded. And they can really open up this game now with a big hit. Pitcher wants this big hit more than anyone. Three on and one out. First pitch on the way. Ball. Fastball too low. One and oh. Uh, Gary, as we saw that hit by pitch, now the base is loaded in so much pressure on this pitcher. And the runner's breaking from third. Oh, and he is out at the plate. I don't know if the batter missed a sign or what, but uh, you talk about running into an out. You watch this, and now the catcher's responsibility here primarily, make sure he doesn't get into the plate. Now, somebody must have missed a sign somewhere, because that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. A great electrifying batter look for the long ball. Base is empty with two outs. Oh. Fastball is downstairs. One ball, no strikes. The 1 0 pitch. Line drive. Yeah. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. No runs, no hits. Nobody crossed the plate in this half inning, and nobody left on base. Still a tie game in Philadelphia. Up again now, the number five spot. He'll lead off the bottom half of the sixth. First pitch to him. Off the plate with a fastball, and it's 1-0. Well, you watch how the hitter reacted to that. He had thoughts about chasing that pitch, but at the last second decided to lay off of it. Shot back to first, and it's through. That's a base hit. This one finds its way around, rolling all the way to the wall. Well, a great job right there by the first hitter in this inning to get on base. And, you know, you, a lot of big innings are started with that first guy getting on. And you have one or two big innings in a game, and that can be the difference in the outcome. Steve, we talk about game-turning situations. This is one of them. No question about that. Things can change completely right here. Bases are loaded here with only one away. And now Howard gets set. Strike it's strike one. Can't make contact on the fastball. His batting average, lifetime, 310 against the Marlins. Here's the delivery. And it's 0-2. Ryan Howard, he'll be swinging at anything close here. Well, the hitter's dug himself a pretty deep hole right here. Let's see if he can battle himself out of it. Oh, oh tough one to lay off right there, that fastball. One and two.
Good eye by Ryan Howard. Plays off that one, and we're even. I'll tell you what, four hits in a ball game last night. He really must be locked in. That one fouled off by Howard. Tough pitch to lay off that time. Full count, 3-2. Well, that right there is a really good pitch. Just missing the outside corner. Give the batter a lot of credit, though. That is one of the toughest pitches to lay off of. That hard fastball away. The 3-2 pitch. There's a swing and a drive. Deep right field. As he retreats back, runners on the move. And the throw... And there it is. That's the tie-breaking run. They're ahead. Now to third as they tag him. They pick up one on three hits. Strand a man. The Phillies gaining the upper hand here. It's going to be Wells. He'll lead off the seventh. Two men in scoring position, still no one out. First pitch on the way to Rome. First pitch, way out of the zone, ball one. Here it comes. Swung on, that ball hit well. Out there to deep, left center field. Say goodbye, a three-run homer. Now they lead by four, a three-run homer. That is a big hit with a big outcome. The WPA graph shows you just how big it was. Well, they say things are contagious. Well, good hitting can be contagious. So can power. You guys are going deep. Now, good execution by the Philadelphia Phillies getting the big hit when they need them. Base is empty and two down. He delivers. That one swung on its line. Makes its way through for a single. Let's take a moment to check out the top hitting teams around the league. Our leaderboard comes to you courtesy of State Farm. Number one, the Cubs. The Marlins second. Third spot, the Pirates. Fourth, the Giants. And it's the D-backs. They are fifth. Well, here's a team that's near the top of the league lead in batting average, and it makes a pitcher's job so tough. Usually in a lineup, you'll find two or three guys that you should be able to get out, and you will get out, but not this team. They come at you one through nine, and they pound the ball, and they make you pay when you make mistakes. And Wells watches that one inside for a ball. Trying to throw it in on the hitter's hands right here, trying to get him to flinch and open up. He just laid off the pitch, didn't get the strike. Here's the 1-0. Swung out and missed, and it's one and one. And here's the pitch. Swinging and a miss, and it's now one and two. This game's history. 
Well, Philadelphia gets the win today, and a, a good all-around effort by this team. Showed up to play and go away with the victory. And we take a look at a performance that today earned our Player of the Game award. Making it happen in the batter's box on this one, Jimmy Rollins. Well, you get on one of these hot streaks, Gary, and all you can do is sit back and watch. It, it, and, and it's an incredible show when it's happening. Spraying the ball all over the field. One just happened to leave the ballpark. That's why he's the player of the game. And Steve, they're able to win this game rather handily. A little bit of home cook it here that was right on from the beginning. Now, Gary, as a player, you always like having the 10th man out there, and these fans provided that today. They were into it. Great day for baseball here at 2K Sports. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Gary Thorne with John Crux, Steve Phillips, and our great 2K Sports crew. We wish you a great rest of the day or night, wherever you may be in baseball land.